Hello everyone! I'm going to share a quick video on how to use some basic tools uh, that I have found make digital art easier. I'm going to be doing this tutorial in Fire Alpaca, so if you're using a different program, the control should be somewhat the same, but I do recommend Fire Alpaca if you're not sure what program to use. It's worked best for me because it's free and seems to have a good selection of tools. So first of all, the most important tool that I've learned to use are layers. Most art programs will include this, and if the one you're using doesn't, I'd encourage you to at least try a program that will allow you to make layers. When you make a layer, it's like you're drawing on a transparent piece of glass or plastic, and you can only draw or erase things on one layer, and everything else on the other layers will not be affected. What is it, whatever is on the layer on top here will show on top of whatever is on the bottom layer. This bar up here is the opacity, which will pretty much adjust how transparent the layers are. You can also hide layers by clicking the little circle here. And what I like to do is to put these layers into folders. This makes it easier to manage because you can hide this layer and work on the background or another part of the drawing easily. You can also use the select tool. and It will select everything that's in the folder. And you can adjust the opacity on the folder. So going back to my original layer, if you make another layer and set it to clipping, it's going to clip to the layer below it. This is a really easy way to do shading because as you can see, when you draw on a clipping layer, it will only show up on top of the layer you are clipping to. So it will only show up on top of what you've already drawn on the layer. If you turn off clipping, the marks are going to go everywhere. But if you turn it back on again, it's just clipping to your original drawing. If you're shading, you can also set the layer to multiply, which will make the colors look a little more cohesive, and you can turn down the opacity. If you like the hard cell shading look here, you can leave it like that. And you can also add some highlights with a lighter color. I would do that on a different layer, because if you are using highlights, you don't want to set the layer to multiply. Because for reasons I don't entirely understand, um, it's just going to disappear altogether. Honestly, I would need an entirely separate video to explain blending modes, that's what multiply is, and I'm still figuring out how to use them myself. If you want the shading to look a little softer, you can go up here to the filter tab and turn on Gaussian blur. You can also use clipping layers to color line art. You just make a new layer over your line art layer and set it to clipping. And then you can color in on top of the line art and it's going to clip to everywhere you've drawn the line art. If you're using a color that looks a little too bright, you can try lowering the opacity to about 30%. You can also go up to the filters here and you can adjust the hue, saturation, and brightness. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. I wanted to make this video because there are just a, these are just a few of the helpful tools that it took me an embarrassingly long time to figure out. If there are any other tutorials you'd like to see, feel free to let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day! Bye!